you have no idea what we're about to get right now. It's probably something that you need to get right now too. That's the, the thing that's gonna be funny is Did he get it? No, he didn't get it, no. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Dan? What's up? What's up? So, yeah. Uh, we're not getting none of that. Oh, stop being nosy. Stop being nosy. Stop being nosy. What's that? Oh, Celia? Yes. Okay, how you doing? So you can come in. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, we're right there. Okay, so Celia, I just noticed that you're drinking some water there. Yep. Um, why are you drinking water? I kind of carry this with me wherever I go. I just drink it all the time. Okay. Whether does I'm walking or working or working out. Or okay, does it make you feel a certain way? or? Um, yes, absolutely. I, okay. feel, I feel better overall. I feel like my skin feels better. I feel like inside out, I just feel, you know, healthy. Okay, last question for yes. you. Have you, how long have you been like faithfully drinking water? <laughs> it's funny because I grew up as a competitive swimmer and okay. I actually used to drink the water in the pool because we're so uh. thirsty. You're so thirsty that you don't realize you're sweating in the water. Okay. But you are. And now the kids have water bottles on deck. But when I was, so I mean, I've, I grew up as an athlete, so I always knew water was important. But I would say, you know, definitely in the last 10 years, okay. you know, just because it's, it's spoken about so much. And it's one of the only things that isn't a fad. It's not a fad. Yeah. You know, it's not the latest fad. It's water. The reason why I was asking you is because we noticed that if you go, like, if you drink water for, let's say, like, three months or six months, right you'll start to feel a, a, a difference in your skin yeah. and your body yeah. the way yeah. you're thinking you'll yeah. be more clear but then if you take a break off like a week or two off of drinking your yeah. water like you you, feel okay. you'll feel it right yeah. okay. you can live without food for a long time you can't live without water but like a couple of days I think. it's because i just want you guys to think about it like we all know the daily intake or we know how much water we need to be drinking on a daily basis we know how, how long is too long to go without drinking water like, before you go to bed, I want you to think about me, right? Did I drink enough water today? Did I drink any water today? Even if you that, just that one glass of water is going to do something good for you. I'd rather you drink one than drink none, right? And the same way it goes for two or three glasses. Hello, hello. <laughs> no, no, no worries. Any good thoughts about water? Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> right, have a good one, guys. Yeah, some of you are doing so much research on water. Like, I know some of you is looking at, like, yo, he talking about, he, he drinking Deer Park water. Like, are you kidding me? I mean, there's levels to it. you rather me drink Deer Park or nothing. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. Some of you are doing so much research because you want to find the, 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 the best water. And because you're doing all this research, you're not even getting your intake. You're scared to just get your intake. You're scared to get your water intake because all these bad waters out there. Aquafina, I heard, is bad. It's just, a lot of these waters is just as good as, what, tap water. Right? The faucet water, they're just as good. But you asked me the question, and I'm, I'm not a doctor. But if you ask me the question, would I rather you have a glass of faucet water and put your ice cubes in that or would I rather you have no water or a can of soda like ask me like what, what which which one would I rather you have some a glass of faucet water or a can of soda all right so in summary what you could do if you want some decent to better water right you got your bottled waters 
right? All levels. You got you got your bottled waters. You could go to Target, get the little Brita, right? You could put the Brita, which is like a filter that it, it comes with a filter. It's like a, a container that stores water. And you can put this filter in there that they call Brita. And you can actually, it'll filter your water for you. And you switch it like every three to six months. So you could do that, right? You can also do, like we said, the water bottles. When you get the water bottles, you can get an infusion bottle, right? And you can check out the Femi Fatale Fit Club uh, on Instagram and find out where you can get an infusion bottle. Or you could get one probably from uh, Target as well. I got my infusion water bottle from the Femi Fatale Fit Club. Uh, and we'll put that in the show notes for those of you who rather buy from somebody that you know as opposed to going to like a target but the option is yours if you if you need an alkaline water machine and you got a few thousand dollars to invest in to this water machine all you got to do is send us an email to um billionaire brown online at gmail.com and we'll make sure that you have a, at least a few options to choose from different companies right the more that i drink water and i know why i'm drinking water I want it warm now, like room temperature. This is my challenge to you. Next time you're hungry, next time you say that you're hungry, I want you to drink two glasses of water. After you drink those two glasses of water, I want you to ask yourself, am I still hungry? Or do I just need a little snack? Maybe some some uh, walnuts or some trail mix, right? Are you still hungry? You you, you Next time you say you're hungry, I'm dead serious. Next time you say that you're hungry, drink two glasses of water and then ask yourself the same question after you finish drinking the second glass. Am I still hungry? And if you're still hungry, then you really hungry. Hey, Ma! I'm on TV! <laughs>